The Russian Ki-47 M2 Kinzhal, or Ki-47 M2, NATO reporting name Killjoy is a Russian hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile. The high-speed Kinzhal provides better target penetration than lighter and slower cruise missiles. It has a claimed range of 2,000 km or 1,200 miles and a speed of Mach 10. It can carry conventional or nuclear warheads and can be launched by 222 and 3 bombers or MiG-31 interceptors. It has been deployed at air bases in Russia's Southern Military District and Western Military District. An interceptor developed for the Soviet Air Force by the Mikoyan MiG-31 Design Bureau. MiG-31 is one of the fastest fighter jets in the world. The Russian Ministry of Defense expects the MiG-31 to remain in service until 2030 or beyond. The Russian Tupolev Tu-22M, or Backfire, finally officially installed the Ki-32 missile used on 30 Tu-22 M3 aircraft in the Tu-22 M3 M version. The Ki-32, or as Russia calls it Ki-32, is a Russian supersonic air-launched cruise missile with a range of 600-1000 chem, developed by MKB Raduga from the Ki-22. Russia's Tupolev Tu-22M, or Backfire, as NATO calls, it is a long-range strategic, variable sweep-wing, supersonic bomber. The Tu-22M was operated by the Soviet Air Force in the missile carrier's strategic bombing role. As of 2021, prior to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine, there were 66 aircraft in operation. Talking about hypersonic missiles, Russia entered into service with hypersonic Kinzhal missiles in December 2017 and is one of Russia's five new strategic weapons, launched by Russian President Vladimir Putin in March 2018. The overall design of the missile is the same as that of the Iskander 9K720 ground launch missile, adapted for air launch with a modified guidance section for Kinzhal reportedly able to hit static targets and moving targets such as aircraft carriers. The missile is designed to be able to hit NATO warships that pose a threat to strategic missile systems in European Russia and to destroy NATO missile defense systems, ballistic missile defense ships and land objects close to Russia's borders. U.S. defense officials have concluded that the existing radar architecture is insufficient to detect and track hypersonic weapons. In March 2022, American President Joe Biden confirmed that Russia used hypersonic missiles in Ukraine. It's nearly impossible to stop him, said Joe Biden. Thanks for watching. See you the next videos.